Did you tell me your life story before we jumped into bed? No. I still feel bad about the abortion, but what else could we have done? We were too young. I know all about that. You fall in love at 17 and you think you know it all. Suddenly there's a baby and you realise you're just kids. I'm not proud of the way I let the end down, but I couldn't handle it. That's just like me and Tyrone. I mean, we weren't married and I didn't get pregnant or anything like that, but, well, we were heading that way. I thankfully never got there. I am. Thanks for telling me. Tell you, is it? Oh, it's McGran. What are we gonna do? Hide in the kitchen. Oh no, I can't do that. Well, go upstairs then, quick. Yep. Hi, Gran. Uh, Hi, come in. Hi, sweetheart. I just thought I'd drop in on my way home, see how you're coping. Yeah, I'm fine. Hey, you can always come and stop with me, you know, if you need company. No, it's cool here. Yeah. Anyway, I said I'd keep an eye on the place. Oh, well, I have had a heck of a day. Really? Mm. You know, little Maria works for me. Well, she uh, phoned in sick this morning, food poisoning or something. All right, her who was at the wedding. Now, don't play the innocent with me, Nick. Acting like you don't remember her. Because I saw the way you were looking at each other the other day. Actually, she dropped me right in it, to be honest. I think she can be a bit flighty. Right, I'll get off home. Are you sure you don't want to come for your tea? No, I'm fine, honestly. Don't like to leave you on your own. Well, I've got your number for change my mind. Oh, mm. take care of yourself. See you. Bye, sweetheart. Bye-bye. Right, you can come down now, flighty. Cool, I want to see her. There's so much to know about you. Oh, no. I don't want to hide anything from you, Nick. 